Melissa, darling, please turn the music down. Hmm? Oh, mom, I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's just that me and your father were trying to read and it was hard to concentrate. Besides, you know of our distaste for rap music. Um, I don't know if you'd call it rap, but I get it. It's fine, Mom. I promise. Is something the matter? Honey, it's okay. It's just that me and your father have been worrying about you recently. Worried? Why? I'm perfectly fine. Yes, we know. But you hardly go outside. It's been months. The only time you leave the house is for school. Yeah, I know and I'm sorry. I just have a lot going on. My anxiety has been really bad recently and... Ugh, there's no need to lie to yourself. We know it's because of that computer and that phone. You're always on the internet. I know, but I'm doing schoolwork and I'm still socializing. I'd hardly call talking to people halfway across the world socializing, but okay. I'm not here to moan at you, I'm just here to tell you that we're worried. Please respect that. Mom, I do. I just It's unfair how you're having a go at me for talking to people. You know I don't like going outside. You know I'm introverted. But you used to be so open and free and when you were younger it was always can we go to the park or let's go out. Now you won't even look at us. Mom, I don't like speaking to people. And besides, it's hard to talk to you guys about things because when I do, you're always telling me I'm wrong and stuff like this. Well, I don't understand why you think that we're just gonna ignore you. We're doing this for your own good. You don't understand how I feel about anything. Remember last time I tried to talk to you? Let's not bring this up again. Oh, so now you're scared, are you? You're scared of accepting the truth about me, aren't you? You just want to pretend everything's okay and that I fit into your perfect definition of a daughter, don't you? London, stop. We are not going into this again. Ugh. You don't love me. You don't know anything about me. You just think that you can control me. We love you and we want to take care of you. If you cared, you'd respect me. You'd notice my sexuality and you wouldn't make a fuss about it every time I brought it up. Oh, here we go again. We are not talking about this. Your dad is downstairs trying to read and I am trying to enjoy my day without you bringing up stupid nonsense topics. It's not stupid and it's not nonsense. It's my life and my interests. I can't change the way I am, but you can change your attitude. Watch your tone with me, young lady, or I'll take the internet away from you. See if I care. It's not gonna stop me being gay, is it, Mom? Is it, Mom? I'll see you tomorrow. Don't come downstairs. Ugh, love you too! It's time to get up. You're already off schedule. You're going to be late for school and I'm not driving you. You never drive me anyway. I walk. Now don't have a go at me. I heard about your argument with your mom last night. Don't think I'll go so easy on you. I know the Wi-Fi password and I also know the provider and how easily they can shut it off. Like I said, I don't care. <sighs> get your breakfast and go.
London. How's my favorite friend doing? Hey, I thought I was your favorite. You're my boyfriend. Oh, yeah. London, anyway, how have you been? Ugh, sick, tired, annoyed. Same as ever, basically. Oh, sweetie, no, don't say that. It's probably just the flu. Yeah, it is. I checked in with the doctor. What's this I hear about being annoyed? Oh, no, no, it's not the flu. It's my parents. They're being same as ever. Uh, I see. Homophobic? Yep. And even worse, they're having a go at me for being inside all the time. Oh, that sucks. I know! It's not like I can just suddenly go outside and be okay again. You guys know about my anxiety. Of course we do. We're the ones who help you through the panic attacks. Ouch, don't remind me. I still feel guilty about it every time. You can't control them. It's okay. I guess. Anyway, you know the best thing to do, right? Ignore them. It's what I do with my parents when they have a go at me. Oh, Taylor, we miss your long hair. I just laugh at them. I have to keep reminding them that my name's Tyler now, not Taylor. It's not that hard. It's like, what, a letter or two? They'll come along eventually, babe. I know. Besides, this isn't about me, is it? It's about Keith London. Oh, no, 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 no. It's fine. It can be about all of us. Sounds good to me. Oh, look who it is. Hmm? What? I'm really confused. Oh, now who is she? <laughs> It looks like London's got a crush. Again. I, I don't have a crush. She just looks cute. And besides, I don't even know her. Oh, you are definitely right about that one. Let's just say she isn't that nice. Especially not as nice as she looks. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that you weren't here the last two days, were you? No, I wasn't. So spill the beans. Well, are you sure you want these beans? They're not that nice. <laughs> Can't be any better than Jake's cooking. Oh, shut up. That was one time. Yeah, and I'll never look at spaghetti the same way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just say the new girl, Melissa, her name is. She doesn't take too kindly to peasants like us. Yep, we tried to talk to her and welcome her to our school. She seemed okay at first, and then me and him, well, we mentioned we're going out, and she did not like that one bit. She started freaking out and calling us. Wait, are you serious? Wow, that's really rude. Yep, and it gets worse. So Courtney told her about Tyler. Yeah, she pretty much outed me before I got a chance to explain myself. And Courtney started going off and saying so many slurs again, like she usually does. <sighs> Great, again? I'm so sorry, you guys. I wish I was here. I would have stood up for you both. It's fine. It happens, you know. Plus, it doesn't matter. I mean, who cares if the new girl doesn't like us? It just adds to the collection of people who don't. Mm-hmm. It's a shame, though, really. She's really cute. <laughs> don't laugh at me. It's not my fault I can't help my gay feelings. Uh, London? You're made of gay feelings. It's pretty much your whole entire being. Oh, that's true. You guys are mean. Uh, Courtney, can we go get some food, please? I'm hungry. Ugh, Jessica, really? You're supposed to be on a diet, you know. I thought we agreed on this. I thought we agreed that we wouldn't tell me what to do because I'm my own person. Yeah, but you're my best friend, and I don't want to be seen with a hippo. I think you look nice. Oh, thanks, Melissa. Yeah. You do look nice, just a bit pudgy. We'll fix that though. <gasps> well, look who it is, my baby. Hey baby, how have you been? I've been good. I've just been doing football practice and stuff, you know. Oh is she gosh, always I'm like so this? Proud of you. You're yeah, so good I'm sorry. I know, so I know she doesn't seem like the nicest person, but when you meet her, she's really <laughs> sweet. No, I've been her friend for ages. No, yeah, no, I can tell. Everybody. You guys seem close. Yeah. In a jokey, sarcastic yeah, way, I mean. Yeah, <laughs> she likes to bully me a little bit, but it's all for fun, so. It's a bit mean, isn't it? Oh, 
Yeah, of course, but I'm used to it. Plus, I don't mind because I know that she actually likes being my friend. We're always there for each other. Yeah, it's nice to have a friend like that. I kind of lost all my friends when I moved. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. I know that must be horrible. It's fine. People come and go. I mean, at least I still have my family with me. Yeah, that's a plus. Besides, I have new friends now. You and Courtney. Yeah. <sighs> What's your problem? <sighs> Ignore them, baby. Oh, yeah, sorry. I have to go to English in about four minutes, so do you mind if I leave so I can catch up with my friends? But I thought you were walking to English with me. I know. I'm sorry. I'll make up for it. Besides, I'm coming around your house tonight and you know what that means. <laughs> oh, you. I'll come find you at lunch. <laughs> Girls, isn't my boyfriend just so cute? Hmm? Oh, yeah, he's, uh, he's really cute, but, like, not cute enough for me to like him because he's your boyfriend, obviously. <laughs> yeah, he's cute. He's definitely something different. And he is kinda hot. I know! You girls are just so right. Oh, I love you, besties. Yeah, besties. So, as I was saying, in Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet... Oh, you must be Melissa. Yeah, sorry that I came in a bit late. I couldn't find the classroom. I understand. This is your first time with me, correct? Yeah, I was supposed to have English on the first day here, but I didn't know which room it was in, and so I spent most of the time on a tour. It's perfectly fine. Please sit down next to London. The Dashend. Um, okay. Hi. Hi. Okay, now that we have all been settled in, that the new people and old people are all here, we can begin with my lesson. Anybody have anything that they would like to say before we start? Good. So like I was saying, there are a lot of things that can be said about love. Could someone tell me about a different type of love presented in Romeo and Juliet? Well, you have the obvious one. Romantic love. Ah, yes. Taylor. Thank you. Everybody knows about romantic love in Romeo and Juliet. If you don't, now is the right time to change to a different course. Ah. Grab. It's the love that is shown between Romeo and Juliet, but also could be said about Romeo and Rosaline. Oh, um, I'm sorry to just butt in this, but can I talk a little bit about the love between Romeo and Rosaline? Really, Jessica? Right now? You see. Oh, do you mind if I come up at the front and do it? Of course. I always appreciate people actively participating in my lesson. Well, you see. The love between Romeo and Rosaline is quite different from the other types of love. Everybody knows about the family kind of love between the families, say Romeo and his father, or say Juliet and her mother, but not many people talk about the fact that Rosaline and Romeo's love was quite different. We don't see much of it, and we'd never really see Rosaline, we only hear what Romeo says about her, and it's kind of a courty type of love. If you bring back to the olden times, love like this was quite common. You'd get knights who fell in love with people who they would never be able to see, and so they just loved them from afar, and wrote poems about them mainly, or even song. And at the start, this is what Romeo does. He writes poems about Rosaline. But, as you can see, Romeo was quite unhappy. This may be because his love wasn't returned, but it could also be because the love wasn't real. We never really feel a sense of love. Some people argue that Romeo never really fell in love with Juliet because of how quickly he moved on. But I think he did fall in love with Juliet. He just didn't love Rosaline strong enough to actually feel bad about moving on from her. It was all just faked. He thought he loved her, but he didn't even know her well enough. And Rosaline was sworn to a life of chastity anyway. Something Romeo didn't like. But basically, what I'm trying to say is that certain types of love may feel like love, but they might not actually be love. You may think you love somebody, but you don't. You just like the idea of them. Or you like the things that you're able to do with them. That was good, Jessica. I agree. Thank you, miss. 
Does anybody have anything they'd like to add to that? Well, um, do you mind if I say something? Oh, no, no. Go ahead. I feel like the reason he was so distraught about the loaf was because nobody was returning it. He put a lot of effort into his relationship and he wrote her so many poems, only to be denied. He really did love her. It's just she didn't love him back, and that caused him to be forced to move on quickly. He knew that if he didn't, he would be stuck in a life without love. That's quite an interesting interpretation. I really like that one. Both of you get 10 points for your houses. Well, I have an idea. Since we've had a lot of talk about love today, and it's Valentine's Day coming up soon, how about your homework is to write an essay on the different types of love in Romeo and Juliet, and how they influence the character of Romeo. You can talk about love between a family, you can talk about romantic love, you can talk about love that wasn't returned. You could even talk about the love between Romeo and Mercutio, a friendly type of love. I just think it would be fun to learn about the different types of love. It will become useful to you guys. I don't see how homework can be useful, but okay, miss. How about you see how homework can be useful after school with me tonight? Uh, thanks for the homework, miss. It'll really help me on next week's test. Now that's what I thought. Anyway, this is all we have time for today, class. I'll see you all on Monday. Oh, hey, you're London, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, my name's Melissa. I sit by you in English. I know. Is there anything you wanted, or...? Oh, I just wanted to say that I thought you were really cool. It would be nice to hang out sometime, maybe. Yeah, um, no. I'm sorry, but I don't become friends with people who are rude. Um, excuse me? I know what you said to my friends. They told me. Your friends? What? The brown collie. The white cat. I know what you said to them. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry's not gonna cut it. I don't take too kindly to homophobes. I should have known someone who's friends with Courtney would have been like this. It's a shame, you know. I thought you would be nice. Look, I'm sorry. I didn't know they were your friends. And if they weren't, you would have said the same thing. You would have still insulted them. You would have still been rude. No, I was just... You were just being rude. I get it. Don't speak to me. Hey, your cookie! Keep it. I'm not hungry. Oh, God. <laughs>